Everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Um, today we'll be talking about insert name here because I still haven't decided on a name about it, but I want to film it um, and then put a title on it later after I ask some people their opinions. But um, it's likely going to be something like grip grouping or nonlinear solutions. So um, basically what this is is a realization that when you have any sort of cycle that's like um, not like a, a 2c a 2c prime but like something that's closed that has even number of targets and that preserves orientation so like obviously like this or um, a twist um, or parity two parity targets um, basically anything that's like you would switch buffers for um, the realization that you don't have to execute those in the same order you memorize them and that you're pretty much free to execute them at will. Uh, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I apply it mostly to corners right now. I think it has potential for edges, but edges is a bit harder because of how fast um, audio ammo goes by. But for corners, you usually have time to think about it, you know, as you're nearing the end of edges or during, even at the start of edges, sometimes I'm thinking about corners or um, during corners um, while you're doing the first couple outs. Um, but I have a super easy example here. So, and then two two um, real sort of real solve examples that I got it in. Um, the thing is, if you don't only have to do it to cancel grip, although that's that's always a great application. You can do it to um, avoid awkward comms, or if you want to leave an awkward calm to the end, so that maybe it has a like a left hand re grip and you don't want to re re grip uh, to home grip. So you'll see what I mean. So we have um, LDF UEL from UFR, obviously, and then. Um, DBLDFR, I oh, know DBL. Sorry, that looked white on my camera. <laughs> DBLUVR, and then that sort of completes this even target, um, even, um, even target, even orientation cycle, and then so we're gonna float, and we have this super easy comm. So like, very much a setup scramble, I know, but you'll see what I mean. So, what I would do here is. First do this comm, and then realize that this is sort of a weird one with left-hand re -grip, and then do this UFL comm second instead, and then do this last one. So, right, instead of going down and coming back up, we're gonna stay in home grip, and then go down for the last comm. Um, and hopefully this doesn't happen to you. So I'm actually filming this after the fact, because I realized I did, forgot to cover one thing. This doesn't necessarily have to be interlaced cycles. So like doing a UFR comm, and then UFL, then coming back to UFR, this can, and this is a rarer case because it's objectively rarer to get three different cycles in corners. But let's say you do. So you have like this UFR comm, and then that completes the UFR cycle. Then you have this UFL comm, that completes the UFL cycle, and then this like UBL2 two, two swap. So what you can do here is notice that um, LDB UBR, right? That's a nice comm. UFL um, RDBF uh, DFL is not. You know, you have to regrip and do a U2, so we're not going to do that yet. And so we're going to do UBL parity instead. And I mean, you could actually cancel into it, but I find canceling those parity dialogs, it's kind of hard. But you see the point that, you know, you're just not not forced to do cycles in the order you memorize them. Uh, and you have much more liberty than you think. Um, so real life example will be in, in the description. I think that's the wrong one. Yeah, this is the first one. So corners, um, now I suggest you follow along because I don't want to call out all the targets, but here, let's break UFL here, 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 and back to here. And I noticed that this last comm is kind of awkward. Um, it's very lock upable, And for some reason, mentally, it's sometimes easier to leave those until the end because, well, I mean, maybe an objective reason is that you don't, you only have to transition into them. You don't have to transition out of them. Whereas if they're in the middle, you have to transition in and out um, but I don't like to overthink it. I usually just go by feeling. So we have here, and we have a nice grip cancel here. And actually, we're gonna do since this D move is already applied, we're gonna do the twist right away. I mean, I was planning to do that anyway, but it gives a nice cancel, twist right away, and then, um, bro. Okay, uh, and then we're gonna do this last awkward column, and then finish the solve, assuming edges were solved there. I'm not gonna go through edges because it has nothing to do with this. So. Another example, here, 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 and then this as the last target. Um, and we have this twist. So 
what we're going to do, this first column is nice, but then since we're already in home grip, and this brings us out of home grip for this next one, we might as well do this twist, which is also in home grip, um, at least the way I do it, and then do this, and then um, come back for the J perm. And I, I believe you could say that's the same amount of regrips if you do like this, and then this, and then J perm, like regrip down for the J perm, and then um, continue into this last twist. But sometimes leaving parity for the end is also nice because of the reasons I described. Um, so I'm going to do this and then do the next one and then um, regrip on top for this. And then let's just say that, like, I don't know, might as well say we set up UFUR because it's a pseudo solve. So then we do that, that alg. Um, so not the best example, so I hope you get the idea. It, it can be very applicable. It solves, uh, again, probably has a lot of potential for edges, although I don't do it much in edges. Um, but yeah, definitely look out for this in corners if you're using floating. Um, just remember that like, there's absolutely no reason why you have to solve the cycles in the same order that you memorize them. Um, in fact, you could do part of a cycle, switch to another cycle, do part of that, switch back, switch back and forth, you know, um, sort of leave yourself those options because often you can force some fast stuff. The examples here weren't great, because um, I didn't have time to go through a million scrambles and fish out a bunch of cases, but um, trust me, I have done this a lot, and I, I suggest you do too. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Hopefully you learned something, um, and I'll try to make some more tutorials soon uh, for other cool things. Thanks for watching.